Hey, how's it going, everyone? Um, I wanted to make a quick guide on the Sacrifice Lich I've been playing, and I've been streaming it, and uh, had a few viewers ask me for the build. Um, so I thought I'd make a quick guide. It's very fast, it's very fun, it's very satisfying seeing everything blow up on the screen. And uh, occasionally you can blow up at a boss, like this guy. Boom. Alright, for passives, for Acolyte, you want 8 points here for the int, 2 points here for a little damage, 5 points here for the cast speed, 10 points here for the chance to gain ward on death, nearby death. For Necromancer, 5 points on hunger, just because the other two nodes are worse for this build. Um, 5 points here for the ward generation on minion death, and a little bit of ward tension. Nice, yeah, 1000. Just blowing that up. Uh, 10 points here for the physical and necrotic damage. You want this chain for the increased plus one skelly and the increased minion health. I'll show you why a little bit later. Uh, 3 points here for chance on summoning future wraiths on the minion death, just for more damage. More minions, more damage. For Lich. Oh, also I have 30 points in this tree. I don't know why this is bugged, so disregard this number here. For Lich, um, 8 points in Int, 2 points in Spell Leech, or 2 points here for the Leech, 8, eight points here for the damage, um, 3 points here for the Putrid Wraith Chance on Kill, again, more minions, more damage for the Sacrifice, uh, 8 points here for Int and Spell Damage, 10 points here for the Flat Necrotic, Spell damage, 5 points here for the crit chance and cast speed, 3 points here for the ward on gain on crit, because um, I'm building towards crit for this crit multiplier, and again, more cast speed, movement speed, which is nice, and health leech. Uh, this 2 points I 3 on here because nowhere else to put it. I thought it was 14% for 2% of health, or 28% more damage for 2% health drains. It's a good trade off. All right. 2% you're not gonna die. That's it for the passives. Alright, for the skills. For some of the skeletons, you're gonna want the mana efficiency, the ward gain on skelly death, and the mana gain on skelly death. So when you sack them, you'll get ward and you get mana back. One point here to get here. Um, this enables you to cast multiple skeletons, right? One cast summons three skeletons and so two casts get six and I have maximum six skellies with this spec. Um, you want to build this in the beginning. Um, build out here first. One point here and then get one point here for the additional cast. Um, just because in the beginning you won't have that many additional skeletons to summon anyways and you don't want to use um, the extra mana, there's no point. Um, and then you work on the extra skellies. At this point, you kind of throw there for additional damage. Transplant, go this route for the 30 mana restored. Um, bone armor and the uh, bone minion on transplant, again, for more minions, more sacrifice damage. Uh, bone Curse, um, the main note here is Bone Prison, and you're going to want this because Bone Prison is considered minions, and Bone Prison, one cast of Bone Prison casts 11 of these things, and they all consider minions. Uh, you want the cooldown because it has a 20%, 20 uh, second cooldown, so cooldown reduction of 70% brings it down to roughly 5.5 to 5.7, depending if you have cooldown reduction on your helm. You want the one point here because you want Bone Prison to have a uh, total 1000 health to make sure that they're, they have um, more health than you. Although in the passive tree with um, this note here, it's definitely going to have more health than you. The reason you want more health is because of this note here for Sacrifice Tree. Um, if the minion has more, de uh, more health than you, um, 
he'll take advantage of this additional or more hit damage. Uh, you're gonna want the kill threshold because it's a uh, execute. It's really good for bosses and more health mobs. And here for the mark of death. The rest of it is kind of I'm kind of up to you. I put chill here just because. Oh, not chill slow because I think snow is nice and this this I, you know you don't really need this. All right, for sacrifice, the main skill. Um, in the beginning, you're going to want to... The sacrifice is not going to feel good when you first pick it up. Um, so, it'll get better once you, obviously, it'll get a lot better once you put more points into it. But in the beginning, you're going to want one point here, one point here, and one point here. So that sacrifice chains. And then you're going to want to expand the area first. Expand a little more area here. And then work towards um, the additional damage. Uh, right here, this node is more hit damage per minion so that's why you want the wraiths the summoning wraiths right for this node um, and there's node right um, so that's it for sacrifice and lastly the reaper form more damage more damage swiftness is good for zoom or a little bit more movement speed, which is nice, and then cast speed 30%. 34% uh, chance, uh, not chance, 34% cooldown reap, so that you can reap more often. It's more mobility. And then three points here, and lastly for the flat necrotic. So, gearing for this build is very easy um, because sacrifice damage is just so high. Um, all you need is basically a two hand staff appropriate for your level. Um, you know, get spell damage, some crit chance, or physical damage. Uh, but stats on it is just icing on the cake. Um, as far as idols go, I want crit chance. And that, that's what the route I chose for my build. Um, you can do just flat damage or damage all transformed um, as well. Um, but uh, I mean, either way, it's just going to blow up everything. Regardless of which way you go, it, it might take two, you know, two rounds as opposed to one. But I mean, damage is just, it's, it's pretty insane. Anyway, um, you want to do your glancing blows, 100%. Um, you want to get some dodge, preferably have some dodge ready on potion use, right? Um, all these uniques I have uh, equipped is not necessary. Um, yeah. Um, Crit avoidance is nice. Um, again, like that's something you want to build towards. You don't have to have it immediately. So you can clear all content. Um, you know, even if you don't have the best defenses or the best gear, right? You can clear all content. You can clear all monoliths um, with this build. So anyway, um, I believe most likely there's going to be some kind of adjustment, uh, probably a nerf of some sort coming to sacrifice in the near future, so I do hope you enjoy the build while it lasts. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, leave a comment below if you have any questions, or uh, I also stream um, Pacific time at night, so if you feel like asking any questions, you can feel free to join my stream. Alright, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Supposed to be unstoppable.